So over here you can see that I have a table with some data in it and then if you want to change around the cell properties then what you can do is you can go around onto the cell that you want and then you can click on this drop down icon right here. So once you do that here you can see that immediately you can go around and set the background color of individual cells right here just like this. So you can go around over here and depending on that the text changes as well whether the background is dark or bright right here it changes out the color of the text accordingly as well. And you can immediately see that you can make your notes look colorful. You can go around over here and then you can set this to note width right here so that all of the contents in table is set to the entire width of the note. And you can also go around and then work around with the alignment that as you can see. You can also set to window no uh, width right here just like this. You can go around to note width or set to window width meaning if I were to go around and resize this right here. So this is what you have as you can see. So you can go around and then uh, you can go to the options. So let me just go around and set this to window width and it resizes out to the window that it is in as well. So these are the options that table provides as well. You can align the content onto the top right here or can uh, uh, align everything onto the center as well if there are let's say for example multiple rows right here you can go around and then click on this and you can see you can align everything to the center or on the bottom right here as well for sn you can see that once there are multiple lines in other uh cells right here it aligns it out on certain sections if you choose this you can go around and select like let's say delete selected columns and rows from over here as well and delete the entire table as well so you delete the selected column then this is what you have let me undo this and if I were to go around right here, you can also go over here, delete the selected rows right here. So these are extra options that you get besides uh, what you get when you're right clicking on something right here. So these are uh, extra options that you get right here to uh, arrange out these cells. So that is how you can work around with the cell properties inside of a note in Evernote. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.